Good morning. It's Friday, July the 31st, and this is The Drill. Thank you very much. Welcome to all the butchers, bakers, and candlestick makers out there. I'm Ron, your host, and the only true conservative in the United States today. Who is the false conservative? He is the man that thinks the way the left wants him to think. He thinks that he is conservative because of his position on the issues. He is traditionalistic and reactionary. He's dogmatic and therefore uh, makes the same mistakes over and over again. He pretends that politics shapes culture. He apes the left. He takes psychological, conversational, and social cues from the left. He is movement-oriented and thinks that to defeat the left, you must think like and act like the left. The false conservative has just as much desire to reform the U.S. as the left. The faux conservative thinks that social, the socialist problem is solely political and top-down, that one merely needs to elect enough conservatives, and presto, the problem will automatically be solved. This podcast is not about convincing your politician to do a better job, but to aid you in shaping American culture. The efforts to defeat socialism must recognize that culture informs politics and act accordingly. My podcast is short, approximately 5 to 10 minutes long, because shorter podcasts are easier to download and listen to. The biggest socio-political influences in my life are my parents, my teachers, Ayn Rand, and Dr. Mortimer Adler. My podcast is made available through Spreaker and can be heard on iTunes, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. Today, what can a true conservative do? Quote of the day, positive news, and how to think about rape. All that when I come back. Thank you. What can a true conservative do? Read. Acquire knowledge. Make the effort to learn and to learn the things that are foundational. Learn the major philosophical issues. Objective versus subjective, innate versus acquired, and universal versus relative. Learn about the reification of zero. Learn about essences and accidents. Learn about the laws of identity, non-contradiction, and the excluded middle. Learn general grammar, rhetoric, and logic. Learn to differentiate between contradictions and contraries. Read chapter one of Ayn Rand's book, Philosophy, Who Needs It? Read books from the Introducing series, such as Introducing Philosophy, Introducing Ethics, Introducing Aesthetics, Marxism, Post-Marxism, Modernism, Post-Modernism, Romanticism, etc. Read, read, read. Next up, the quote of the day. Thank you, thank you. The quote of the day comes from dailyscripture.net. Lord Jesus, your love conquers every fear and breaks the power of hatred and prejudice. Flood my heart with your mercy and compassion that I may treat my neighbor with the same favor and kindness which you have shown to me. Amen. No other so-called conservative even mentions Jesus Christ, much less as a prayer. Yet every one of them claims to be conservative. Uh, um, Yes, or claims to be Christian. Coming up, good news. Thank you. From investing.com, U.S. stock markets opened higher Friday, mainly due to a surge in big tech mega caps after they published blowout earnings after the closing bell on Thursday. By 0940 Eastern Time, the Dow Jones Industrial was up 32 points, while the S&P 500 was up 2%, or 0.2%, and the Nasdaq inevitably outperformed with a gain of almost 1%. Facebook gained 7.2%, Apple stock gained 6%, and Amazon stock rose 5%. 
Up next, how to think about criminal justice. Thank you. A socialist guest on Hugh Hewitt's show suggested that women should be more interested in seeing a psychologist or counselor than in talking to a police officer when they've been raped. In other words, women should sacrifice justice to the greater good of socialist paradise. This might be a laudable goal if there were such thing as socialist paradise. But since there have never been any perfect societies, and there is no perfect society now, then there is no reason to believe that there will ever be a socialist paradise. If then, women sacrifice any expectation of justice, to whom? Who is collecting those sacrifices? Criminal males. Predatory men will be rewarded for their heinous behavior. Again, socialism backfires. Not only is there no empowerment for women, there is empowerment for men and the exactly kind and exactly the kind of man that should not be empowered. This is the opportunity for true conservatives to contradict the socialists by not only refusing to go soft on rape, but to insist that the way our society has been handling rape and rapists is simply fine the way it is. Back in a minute. Who is a true conservative? He's the person that has the courage of his convictions and is confident in what he knows. He's the person that understands that cultural conservatism is more important than political conservatism. He's not selfish, but minds his own business. He acts like an adult. He is patriotic and uses common sense. He expresses what he knows and does so with certainty. He makes judgments, refuses to speculate, speaks clearly and definitively, and is not afraid to say no. He's open-minded asking why, rather than why not. He's consistent, credible, and influential, not ashamed of his existence, unafraid to learn or correct his mistakes. He is a normal American, and he is better than the socialist. He's a better friend, father, brother, family member, and a better person, period. You have to know that. If you don't know with every fiber of your being that being a true conservative is best, then you're wasting your time. And that concludes another episode of The Drill. Be honest, be smart, be beautiful, and always ask yourself, what is real, how do I know, and what should I do about it? I'm Ron, and that's The Drill.